The NVIDIA RTX 4090 continues to amaze the globe with its thermal efficiency and the fact that it is now known. It's, 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 a, it's a fact, actually, that the card is going to run so cool it won't even need fans. Certainly not a fourth fan to keep the card cool. Or will it? NVIDIA has actually teased something out which has officially confirmed that we will be hearing about the ADA architecture at GTC on September 20th over on their Twitter page. So... We pretty much already knew this. It's the world's worst kept secret at this point, but they've teased it out anyway, so it gives us some official confirmation. We've also got some more leaked graphics cards, which uh, is going to build up on that whole thermal efficiency thing we've been discussing. Uncharted Legacy of Thieves got an official reveal, even though that, again, terribly kept secret. It was leaked over on the Epic Game Store. We already got the system requirements, but now we also are going to learn that it has AMD FSR, as well as DLSS and a slew of other PC-specific features, so let's get into it. But first, today's video is brought to you by PrimeTechMart.com, where you can save money on software like Windows 10 Pro licenses for under $25. They've also got Windows 10 Home for under $20, and now Windows 11 Pro you can grab over on PrimeTechMart.com. They've also got Office 2019 and the new Office 2021. And if you want to save an additional 20% at checkout on Windows 10 or any other software, go ahead and click buy it now. And during the checkout process, go ahead and put JP20 in and apply that coupon and that'll give you 20% off of any software that you happen to pick up over there. So for Windows 10 Pro, you can see it dropped our price down from $24.46 to under $20. So be sure to hit up the links down in the description below and don't forget to use my coupon code JP20 at checkout for an additional 20% off. First up, as I said at the beginning, NVIDIA has continued to tease the ADA lineup of GPUs, which we are expected to see announced on the 20th at GTC and their Project Beyond uh, teaser campaign that they have been running over the past couple of weeks with this latest short video, which shows a close-up of a diagram and some internet sleuths were able to figure out that this is actually a diagram for the computation by the engine of the numbers of Bernoulli. Say that, say that five times. Diagram for the computation by the engine of the numbers of Bernoulli, which was a chart created by Ada Lovelace in 1843, which, as, as we all know, the Ada Lovelace is the uh, you know, the code name essentially for the upcoming lineup of RTX 4000 graphics cards, sticking with the theme that NVIDIA typically likes to name their GPUs after famous mathematicians and scientists and things of the like. So there you go. That is an Ada Lovelace diagram, pretty much confirming that at GTC, we will hear about the Ada architecture. They didn't confirm exactly that we're going to get 8102 and, you know, see the 4090, 4080, whatever other cards, two different variants, which are all the rumors that are sort of circulating right now, so they have not confirmed that. Uh, but in their previous uh, Twitter post for the Project Beyond thing, they showed uh, this the monitor, which was in that same video, which has a post-it attached to the bottom, which had a phone number that was 208-629-7538. And if you called the phone number, if you call the phone number now, uh, you just get a busy signal. But some of the first people that called it said that uh, when, you, when it would answer, it would say, how fast do you want to go or something equivalent to that. But other people on the internet have also said that this all that these numbers may be a hidden message that the uh, the numbers on there could be the size of the die at 629 millimeters squared, the number of transistors at 775.38 billion. And the first number, as they say, is not really clear, but some people believe it could be 2.08x higher performance than GA102. So a whole lot of internet sleuthing going on and sort of tinfoil, tinfoil hat theories about what some of these numbers uh, could mean, but this was definitely a diagram by Ada Lovelace. So like I said, we're going to be seeing these cards very early next week. Now, some other companies, aftermarket cards have already started to be teased. Uh, first up with Galax and their RTX 40 Serious Gaming lineup or their SG cards, which is a horrendous name. I had this uh, teaser right here saying new Serious question mark. I don't, I don't, I'm not a fan of the marketing. Uh, and if you see down here, well, this is a picture of a 3090 uh, SG, which had an optional fourth fan that you could put on the card that will seemingly do absolutely nothing as it's literally strapped to a fucking backplate. That, that's not going to really do much. Um, I could theorize. And now we have this leaked box art and graphics card renders for the alleged RTX 4090 SG serious gaming card. It's very, very serious gaming, guys. Super duper serial. 
And as you can see, they've stuck with a similar design here, RGB all over the card, three fans on the front and one fan on the back. No word, as, as I said, these are leaked if this is going to be an optional fan on the back or if it's going to be installed by default, but make no doubt about it, there is a fourth useless fan strapped to the back of this card right on the back plate, not to the radiator or anything, the heat sink, or sorry, or anything like that, right on the back plate. Not too sure what that can do. Uh, not sure how well it's going to be able to dissipate heat because honestly, the only thing that it has dissipated is my faith that computer hardware companies will continue to come out with ridiculous fucking designs. It has done nothing to dissipate that or just like it has not dissipated the heat. I've doubled down on that joke and now we've, we fired through to it, through it. So let me know down in the comments below what you think about the uh, RTX 4090 Galax card, which again, proving thermal efficiency is top priority with the RTX 4090 cards. Uh, you know, rising costs of electricity across the globe. Not a concern. Not a concern here. Not a concern at all. Definitely not the highest they've ever been or on a trajectory to continue to climb at a pace that has never been seen before in the history of human existence. That's not on the horizon at all. So you don't need to be concerned about the power requirements of this card, how much heat it's going to pump out. I mean, you know, if it gets really cold this winter and you can't afford to heat your home, just run one of these cards and you'll probably be okay. So yeah, there it is. Next up, Uncharted Legacy of Thieves Collection. We already knew this game was coming out. It was leaked that it was coming out on October 19th through a post over on the Epic Game Store, which was removed over the weekend. So now Naughty Dog and Sony have decided to officially let everyone know stuff that we already knew, but it's been backed up with some new information as well concerning like certain features that are going to be in the game, like FSR 2.0, which was initially only mentioned was FSR 2.0. They did not mention DLSS, but that was actually uh, confirmed by Naughty Dog's Vice President Arn Meyer, confirming that it will in fact support NVIDIA DLSS tech at launch on October the 19th. Furthermore, Uncharted Legacy of Thieves Collection will support ultra-wide, and we'll have uncapped frame rate. The game will also have a wide variety of modes and PC-centric enhancements, such as improved user interface for game options, reimagined user interface, the addition of scale sliders for some menus, GPU and VRAM detection and management options, as well as adding auto-pause, minimizing background and variable load, load speed support, along with a host of other additions for the Uncharted Legacy of Thieves collection. And I'm also assuming somewhere in there, which they did not mention, that the visuals will be improved uh, somewhat. I'm assuming it's going to have some better visuals uh, than what the console version had. Even on the PS5, I would hope that it's going to get maybe some better textures, shadows, lighting, ambient occlusion, things along those lines. And can't wait to see the graphics options on this one. Hopefully it's a really great port uh, from, I believe it's been worked on by Nixus. So I'm really hoping that is a good port here uh, to the PC. So stay tuned. Um, as soon as I can do a PC port report for the Uncharted Legacy of Thieves collection, I will assuredly do so along with some comparisons to the PS5 version so we can see how the uh, visuals uh, sort of stack up between the two different platforms. But that's all I've got for you guys today in the world of tech and PC gaming news. I hope you guys all have a fantastic day and weekend. Looking forward to another full slate of Sunday NFL content. I am a football fan. I don't know if you've heard. Cannot wait. So excited that we are back in football season. Although, can someone tell me how on this Sunday I'm going to be watching fucking football and it's going to be 85 goddamn degrees in the state of New Jersey. That just doesn't doesn't really stack up with my brain. I usually associate football, cold months, but climate change isn't real. It's 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 fine. It's fine. The uh, the RTX 4090 could you know single handedly melt the fucking polar ice caps, and it'll be it'll be fine. Everything's fine. I'm fine with this. So I'm gonna go get out of here. Hope you guys all have a fantastic weekend. As I said, and I'll catch you next time for another video. Peace.